Hey guys, Cameron Grimes here and welcome back to another episode of Plumbing TV. Standards Australia has recently advised that the 2018 update to AS NZS 3500 Plumbing and Drainage Parts 1 to 4 is now available. This is the result of extensive work by industry, technical experts, regulators and consumer representatives to address the plumbing needs of the community. This series of standards covers water services, sanitary plumbing and drainage, stormwater drainage and heated water systems. The update now aligns with the new three-year cycle of the National Construction Code and serves as nationally applicable standards guiding the plumbing sector in each state and territory. This most important document should be in every plumbing office in the country and be consulted regularly. However, with a price tag of over $1,100, you can see why ignorance remains an issue across the sector. Illegal competition for plumbers comes in many forms, and one of the latest we've come across is at our local shopping mall, a direct outfit is offering bidet attachments for toilets. These attachments are coming directly out of China and carry no watermark, wells rating, or even an electrical inspection approval, despite the fact the company's flyer states it is Australian certificated to Australian standard. Further, there's no backflow prevention. If you come across these direct sellers in your region, we suggest that you contact your local plumbing inspector and request immediate action. These products are being hawked for close to $1,000, including installation, which you can be certain is not by a qualified plumber. Too often we see aging grannies being the target for such fly-by-night operators. How do you know that the plumbing product you are installing has not been made using slave labor? And do you really care? Well, you are going to have to care in the not too distant future. It took a fire in Bangladesh where 1,100 garment workers died to change the buying procedures of the likes of Target, Kmart, Cotton On and Maya. That shocking fire in 2012 was the stimulus for governments around the Western world to consider a modern slavery bill, and the Australian government has such a bill in progress. Once passed, the Modern Slavery Act will require more than 3,000 companies based or operating in Australia with annual revenues of 100 million to report on the risks of modern slavery in their operations and supply chains. The detail for the plumbing sector is going to be in the supply chains of merchants and direct suppliers. This is an issue that the Property Council is taking a strong interest in and will pass the responsibility down the line. And if fairness prevails, we'd expect all use on state and federal government projects to conform to this act. It is a moral issue that the plumbing and other building material sectors simply won't be able to ignore. Well, that's all the time we have for this month. Make sure to keep up to date with all the latest in plumbing sector news and products via our Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter pages or on our website over at plumbingconnection.com.au. I'll see you next time.